Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat. Here I am, and I just watched the South Park Pandemic Special. It just aired on Comedy Central, and it will be rerunning through, I think, I think most of the rest of the night, actually, on uh, Comedy Central. And I'm just going to give some of my thoughts on it. On it. I'm going to talk about some of the things I liked about it, some of the things I didn't like about it, and kind of wrap it all up at the end of that. First things first, I generally liked, the some of the stuff I liked was the general A-plot with Randy, of course, being behind the whole pandemic, and especially how he's behind the whole pandemic, which involves him having sex with a pangolin, like, which is why I mention it in the title, and of course involving Mickey Mouse as well, and the whole, basically, all the wacky hijinks he goes up to to try to stop the issue and to more specifically cover up his involvement in it, including masturbating into his own marijuana, which just made everyone have mustaches. And also, some of the commentary I really like the general commentary this episode I liked, like the whole continuous, like not really understanding what the symptoms of COVID are, and the fact, like not understanding max guidance, how the mask guidance frequently changes, and also just the whole concept of the whole, especially, especially towards the end where you had the whole thing where Stan snapping, talking about how he just wants things to be normal again. I really like that. And how one of the bigger impacts of this whole outbreak isn't the virus itself, but what the lockdowns, what the shutdowns have done psychologically to a lot of people. Suicide rates gone up, depression's gone up, in the meantime, and domestic violence has gone up quite a bit too. Which is stuff I think gets kind of covered up because it's not as glamorous to talk about as much as, you know, pandemic, people dying of a virus. It's just like horror, it's just like, it's just like 28 days later, you know, like stuff like that, you know. But again... And I really like that concept, too. Some of the stuff I didn't like it. And here's the thing. In South Park, season premieres, especially in recent years, have gained kind of a bad reputation. And by bad reputation, it's simply from the fact that since the show is a very topical show, it covers what happens the last week or two. They feel very tempted at the start of the season to try to cover everything that's happened in like nine months since the last season ended. And this is a futile task because there's so much to cover. They inevitably just stretch themselves thin. And I was a bit worried about that. However, with the fact that this is a one hour long special, I thought maybe that can fix it. But somehow we just end up getting a product that just felt very, very stretched out. You know, like the show definitely had some of its moments. And but to be honest, most of the moments I remember were actually from the first half of the episode, like the first so 22 minutes or so, which is the length of a normal episode, you know, and people's attention spans are getting shorter by the day, so, and that was kind of a downside to it, and also the fact that especially, it felt like the show was trying to do subplots, but it just kind of pittered out fast, like, they briefly had, like, the police brutality one with them shooting Token, and then that was only really used to set up the whole concept of the kids being locked in the schools, in the school, and that really kind of went nowhere outside of them just kind of trying to push forward. Like, we had, like, 20 minutes of, like, scenes of, like, in the kids in the school that kind of went nowhere until you had them do the breakout and go to build bear you know? You know, that. And I also kind of like the little gag of the whole, well, you actually need the employees at build bear Workshop. You can't do it by yourself, especially with the actual fluff machine. And I thought what they were going to do was mention... You might remember a year or two ago, there was this weird promotion Build-A-Bear did where it's like, the thing was called like the Build Your Own Age, where it's like, if you take your kid, they'll, you can get a bear at the cost of the same age of your kid. So if you have like a two-year-old, you can get a bear for two years for $2. And naturally, that's basically like a free teddy bear for any really young kid. So naturally, every parent seized on it. It caused these massive lines. It caused like all this like like, chaos and stuff. Like, go and research it. It's actually pretty interesting, you know? But I thought they were going to do it. They didn't. I was a little disappointed they didn't because they were really kind of setting themselves up for that. But again, overall, I mean, it's good to see South Park back on. I feel like this show did kind of leave some things open. It could have hit home runs, but instead it hit singles. Again, not the best, but if you're talking about season premieres, which actually this is not a season premiere, this is standalone special, we don't know when the next season's going to start. However, the end of the show kind of hinted we're just going to get some more specials, as hinted by the whole part with him talking about, oh, I'm going to do some more specials like marijuana. 
So that's probably where the show's going to go for the short term. If I had to give this episode a rating, I would give this a 7 out of 10. What do you guys think? What's your opinions on this episode? Leave your comments down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I, if you like this content, if you want me to do more South Park quick review content like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am Super Orange Cat, and that is all.